Welcome to This Week in Y Shorts, where we talk about Y Shorts' news and cards of the day. We do have quite a bit of news to go over, but before we get into that, here's some self-promotion and some channel updates. I'm going to be clearing this channel of non Y related content. I'm going to be uploading them to the second channel, which yeah, there's a link up here if you want to go subscribe to it. I'm going to be doing a lot more different style of videos over there. It's a good time. I'm also going to be doing other trading card games on that channel. A lot of Pokemon, a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh, Beyblade, TCG, and actual like Beyblades as well. I'm gonna try to do a lot of different stuff. Second, I just want to reiterate that I am live streaming every Thursday at 6 p.m. Pacific. I've been doing these live streams for about two years now. They're a lot of fun, we learn a lot, and they're insane at times. The last thing is that you may have noticed an upload schedule has changed. This is because all channel members are now receiving extra videos three days early. All channel members are going to be receiving This Week in White Shores on Friday night, no later than Saturday afternoon, and everyone else is going to be getting them on Sunday at 2 p.m. Why? Because they pay me. So if you want to get videos early and special channel emojis, it's just a dollar a month, you support me directly. Oh man, that was a long intro. So to reiterate, second channel, re-uploads, other TCGs, uh, live streams every Thursday, 6 p.m. It's been doing it for two years. Channel members get videos in advanced, plus other perks. Uh, we good? Let's get on with the news then. So as you noticed, I have been really trying to push the channel members platform here, especially because we have the release date and promotional art of the Y Shorts Chronicle Volume 2 Little Busters. This is going to be released sometime in mid-October with pre-orders happening on September 6th. The set is going to include 153 cards and, like the Persona set, all the cards are going to be foiled. There are going to be 41 frameless cards and hot stamped cards. This is going to include cards from the first Little Buster set, the Trial Deck, and the extra booster set Little Buster's Ecstasy. And, here's the kicker, like the Persona set, there's only going to be a total of 3,000 printed. And like Persona 3, there is going to be a brand new card included in the set. But, unlike Persona, this card is a signed card. Successful person Natsume Kiyosuke, age 32, is on play from hand. This gains 3k power for the turn, and he is a clean cut. Here's the box that is going to come in. Here is what it looks like when you open it. And here are the overframe rare cards. So like I mentioned, if you want to support the channel directly, please become a YouTube member. I really want this. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You don't need to do that. Unless. Regardless, I did do an unboxing of the Persona 3 Y Shorts Chronicles, so if you want to check it out, link at the top. Also, Hammer Girl is currently doing pre-orders of this product. So, um... Let's spend more money. Voice Actor Card Collection Volume 7 is announced, and it is going to feature... Oh no, Ito Ayasa. And with that, I'm in trouble. If you do not know who she is, she voices Arisa in Poppin' Party. We have some information available. This is going to be released October 15th, and there are going to be a total of 102 cards. There are 54 normal cards, 18 rares, 12 double rares, 6 triple rares, six spa rares and a new rarity of alto which will contain six cards this is going to contain six different themes pop rock pure dolly street and memory here are some pr cards that you could snag from different shops from left to right it's bushy road gamers animate and everything else damn speaking of the global shop let's talk about some white shores news by the time this comes out, it might be a little too late, but there was a White Shores festival happening at the Bushy Road Global Shop. You spend $20 worth of White Shores stuff, and you get a copy of the 13th anniversary PR card while supplies last. I bought an Afterglow playmat, which will ship in October, so it'll be a while. So whenever I do an unboxing, expect a new playmat. But, again, it's probably a little too late by the time this comes out, so hopefully you did not sleep on this. This is why you need to follow me on Twitter. Also, if you like and retweet this post, you get entered to win a 13th anniversary playmat. There are going to be three winners, and it ends on the 26th. Good luck, everybody that has entered. Headed back to the world of Y Shorts, we have the set breakdown of World Trigger and JP. This is going to contain 104 cards, 32 commons, 28 uncommons, 22 rares, 10 double rares, 7 climax commons, and 5 climax rares. 
The high rarities are as follows. 29 super rares, 12 TG rares, 4 SP cards, and 5 overframe rare cards. The super rares will be from the double rares and uncommons. The TGRs will be the climaxes. SPs will be from the rares and the double rares, and the overframe rare cards are from the double rares. So yeah, that is pretty interesting, especially since we're not receiving any signed cards. And as you can tell, there are no triple rares in this set either. They are replaced by the TG rares. And now, we are off to the cards. We have some Quince cards to talk about because we were actually given them in the card of the day segment. It's quite a bit, so strap in. We're gonna start off with an actress Ichika. She is a searching Riki and on play from hand. You can either keep it at the top or toss it in the waiting room. Yeah, perfect. 10 out of 10, run it in every deck. Moment of reply, Ichika gains 1k power for each other Ichika character. So this effect really isn't that good. It really isn't that bad either. This is more gonna be relegated towards waifu decks, but what is interesting is that she does have a soul trigger, which is good because Ichika uses choice. And also another reason I'm talking about this card is because if you have noticed, all of the super rare art for the commons and uncommons are going to be different from the non-high rare version. Fuck me up, dude. Here's the super rare art for the Climax Swapper mentioned in a previous video. New Year Ichika is a pop encore and act. Rest this card. Choose a quintuplets character and they gain a 1k5 power. If you choose Yutaka Look Ichika, this gains the following ability. On reverse, blind stock. This is super solid. It's not bad. That card can use all the power it could get and this card is going to be a pop encore. Guarantees that it's going to stay on the field until next turn. Plus, the on reverse blind stock pretty damn good as well. Plus, like I mentioned like in the last video, if you do not want to run the newer 1-0 combos or the new combos in general, you can use the previous combos from set 1. In this case, the 1-0 Ichika from set 1. Off to Nino. Fast approaching Nino is a 2k5 backup and you could pay 1. When you use this card's backup, you could salvage a copy of itself. Pretty solid. Not bad. I really do like the art though. I will be looking for a super rare... What the fuck? Who just tried to bonk me? Here's the super rare art for straight words Nino, and here is the climax for the new 3-2 Nino. I am fucking ecstatic that they used this image, and I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this. The overframe rare is inferior to the base rarity card. Here's Ernest Feelings Miku. She is a four character early drop, and during your turn, if all of your characters are Quince characters, this gains 3k power and on play heal. This is surprisingly good super easy to get out on play heal and she's gonna be at 12k power during your turn that's actually pretty crazy here is the new art for headphones pure white miku is on play from hand top chick three and rearrange them in any order then you bounce an opponent's character from the field back to their hand and on play from hand ditch a headphones you free fresh speaking of new art here's the art for the yotsuba that sends your new finisher to the memory and yeah i'm gonna need both arts School trip preparation Yotsuba is on attack. You could ditch a card, top check your deck, and you salvage a character whose level is the same as the revealed character and memory. On play from hand, if you have a card in your memory, this gains 3k power for the turn. We also have the art for the climax of your new level 3 finisher. That's a lot, but are you tired of Quince? You better have said no. We currently have the release tournament PR card available as well as the PR cards in the quintuplets radio CD mentioned in a previous episode. These cards are reprints of the following cards in set 1. And now the last bit of news is that the Fruits of Grisaia 2 is currently out so good luck to everyone hunting those signed cards and overframe rare cards because right now those prices are a little high but hey it is first release hopefully they do cool down a bit. And with that, thank you all for watching. Are you going to be purchasing Little Buster's The Wise Shores Chronicles? Are you going to be purchasing the Voice Actor Card Collection 7? Do you hate money in general? Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Wise Shores news and content. Major thanks to all of my YouTube members. And there are actually quite a bit now, so we're going to get scrolling text. But thank you to our newest member, Anime Sky. Welcome to the club. Again, thank you all, and I'll see you all in the next one.